very well deserved. I know, and uh, congratulations. Sorry we're a little late on your promotion. White straps there. I'm gonna tie up uh, all your NCOs and like. <laughs> all right. <laughs> somebody, somebody had to come up and pick them up. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's parts probably only maybe three inches tall. Okay. Yeah, I did not see. Yeah, I have not seen that in there. I know that the, we used to have we used to have those at Beetler. <laughs> I see 931, 920, or 3, yeah, 9326. Oh, you're okay.
So I'm the commander. I'm Captain Corey Bissett of the 1137 Signal Company, 10E, which is a tactical infrastructure network enhanced. Our mission is to install uh, Army networks, whether it be copper cable, your internet cable, fiber cable, um, anything from inside of armories or buildings to outside plant, which is running the fiber on aerial or underground in manholes. Um, and we, uh, our, our mission here in the state really is adding value to the different armories and the buildings um, within the, uh, the state. So we've done quite a few armory rewires that have added significant financial value and uh, longevity to the buildings in the eyes of the government. Um, so it's a great opportunity for soldiers to get out and actually contribute to the Ohio National Guard and the Army as a whole. They get, get out and actually get on the job training, um, which sometimes isn't typical in the National Guard. So it's, it's really fun to get out and actually do your job while contributing and giving back to the state of Ohio. Um, majority of my soldiers are the cable installers at various different levels. Um, they do all the different install tasks. They uh, run network boxes, they run the uh, network drops, the, the cabinets, uh, and then they run the fiber outdoors and indoors. So we've done very small armories all the way to uh, a larger armory. So we've done the smallest, I would say, is the Chagrin Falls Armory. And we've also rewired the Stowe Armory uh, when they came through and did the, the major reconstruction there. So the value that we get to add is we're coming in and upgrading the old networks that have been in those buildings for years. Um, so it's adding speed and uh, value to the, the, the building owners, really and giving them the, the accessibility to work more efficiently. And um, the financial piece is really, we get to do that on our training days. So over an IDT weekend or an AT, um, and that's saving money over contract. Instead of bringing a civilian contractor in to run all the network cable, we're doing it with the soldiers, which is saving the state a lot of money um, over the, the price of the contract. And it varies based on the size of the the mission, how much wire we're installing, how many network drops we're putting in. Um, some of the big successes I would say is really um, our biggest mission that we've done so far is the Stowe Armory upgrade. And that was a lot of cable. We had uh, probably close to 200 drops that we put in there, which was a significant amount of cable that we ran from two sides of the building. And getting in there and being able to work side by side with the civilian contractors and Dimer was uh, awesome to see that that whole process and really getting in there and getting to, like I said before, help the state out and really save the, the state money and add that value back to that building so it stays there longer. So we've ran a few rewire missions uh, each year since I've taken command and we have uh, about three or four rewire missions planned for next year with more coming up uh, whenever they become available. Um, Overall, the commitment from, from the company and the state to really step up and improve the infrastructure has been awesome to see. So we're, we're giving the ability back to the units at the outsites, at the, at the armories that have been there for a while, and giving them a better workplace and giving them the, uh, the, capa the capability of really stepping up their day-to-day -day operations. It's been a great opportunity to come in as a commander to a, a new unit. Uh, we stood up at the end of 2019 and I came in uh, mid-2020. It was, uh, it's been a great experience to step up and establish a culture into a, into a brand new unit, especially one that gives back to the Ohio Guard as much as, as we do. Um, the other benefit is that we have a lot of brand new soldiers. So we're, we're developing new, the, the next generation of soldiers in the Ohio National Guard. Um, and we get to work with them day to day and bring in their experiences from the, the younger generation and start molding the, the, next, the next force that we have. So my job entitles uh, a lot of cable maintenance. So we'll go into a base, we work with cables and we run them through buildings, we demo like old cables, and we just replace them with new ones. It's a lot of fun. We get to climb up really high ladders, we get to play in the ceilings a little bit. It's just kind of everywhere. It's like a 
like a collective chaos or like organized chaos just a little bit but it's it's all fun and we get it done in good time I like to serve in signal because you know I get to work with my hands I, I work with my hands a lot um, and you know Pulling cable is kind of fun. You get to run them through really crazy pipes sometimes. Like we got pipes running through the ground and up and through a tunnel into another building. I mean, that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. Yes, I believe my experience has a lot of value. Um, I believe that, you know, if we have a really good company, then everybody is successful in a way. Um, if the soldiers are successful, then the whole company is successful. Um, I think it's great technical experience, you know, if I decided to, you know, do something with this in the civilian world, you know, you can get big bucks for it, like being military trained, being disciplined, you know, it's, it's all, you know, hand in hand with, you know, civilian life and, you know, in military life. Uh, the more experience you have, the better off you'll be in the civilian world. I like, so I, I decided to serve because I didn't know what I wanted to do out of high school and, you know, the more you know, structure and the more discipline that I got with this job is going to set me up better for, you know, my civilian life and the more successful I would be later in life. Um, and I've completely decided to go military full time now because I just, I love the, the culture around all of it. You know, everybody that I've worked with is just great. Uh, right now we are on the Rickenbacker post. Uh, currently we are doing infrastructure improvements in buildings uh, 932, which is gonna be the 73rd Troop Command building. You have building 920, which is behind us. Uh, we're doing uh, infrastructure upgrades in there as well for uh, uh, you know zero clients and, and for uh, full-time users that are in there. Uh, just allowing them to have uh, more access to network so that they can move around in their offices, change things around and um, you know, add people as they come in. So we have, as of right now, Limas and Bravos. Uh, 25 Limas, 20, 25 Bravos. The Limas, what we do is we actually just, we, we run cable um, in tactical environments, outside, indoors. Um, and luckily with the, you know, being uh, tasked with the G6, having projects that we already have, uh, what they do is they run cable, um, upgrade fiber, upgrade, um, cabinets, network cabinets to bring them to CCR compliance so that they're, they're lockable. Um, and we, we even run cables outside. We run copper lines for um, um, from building to building. So we do external and internal work with, with cabling. Well, uh, so again, on my full-time side is the, with the G6, the infrastructure. And a lot of the tickets we get are people needing lines fixed. Well, my line stopped working and this worked and we have people moving into um, this office, we don't have enough network capabilities. What we're doing is actually bringing most every of these buildings, so what we do rewires, bringing them up to standard, what we have is our standard, and um, allowing people to not have a necessity for lines to be fixed. They, they, we're basically building an infrastructure for the next 20 years for them to use. So they can move anywhere they want in the building and have network capabilities any, in, any, in anywhere they're at. I absolutely love this unit. I have been with the unit uh, for quite a few months now, uh, not a full year. Um, I have worked with them coincidentally as a G6 representative, uh, but my soldiers, the soldiers that aren't mine that are in different platoons, they're all hungry for work. They, they want to learn. A lot of these guys were fresh out of AIT, you know, and, and instead of them sitting at home station working on a board inside a room, um, they they love being out here drilling holes, you know, making waves in places, you know, and, and building their confidence to be around full timers and and kind of see how the Ohio Guard works. Uh, but every single one that I've been and I've seen, they they want to work. They they push themselves to find more work. You know, what what do I do next? And, and I, I absolutely love every one of them. This is a newer unit. A lot of these kids, I don't want to call them kids. A lot of these soldiers are a lot younger, um, but they're learning. And I think that for the Tenney unit, this, what we're providing them is the training that's going to carry outside of the Army to, the, to, their, to their personal side, you know. So even if they decide they want to get out, I think that the skills and trades that they learn inside this unit are going to carry on for them to learn as they grow as soldiers and a personal development outside.